Yo, what is up fam and welcome to today's video. We are in peak week, which means my body is going through all time hell. I am carb depleting right now. It is Tuesday, October 6th. So I started my carb deplete, as you can tell, I can't even talk. Oh my God. I started my carb depletion yesterday morning. So the only time I get carbs is before my workout, which is usually in the morning or afternoon. So I'll have oats, go hit my workout, and then the rest of the day is just protein and vegetables. My fat is extremely low. So basically calories, carbs, everything's low. The only thing that's keeping me afloat is literally the micronutrients from the veggies and then the protein to just maintain the muscle that I have. I'm having amino acids and just trying to get through these next couple days. On Thursday, I'm going to carb up and hopefully I feel good. I know like I know what my body needs. I know as soon as I carb up, I'm going to start to feel good and my muscles will pop. So right now I'm just like flat stringy. I'm trying to dry out as much as possible. But yeah, that's kind of the situation we're in right now. Also, the show is Saturday and night. So they've divided up the entire show. So they have like the open in the morning at like 10 a.m. They do the entire show and then they have a secondary show at two. I'm not really sure exactly what that one is. And then they have ours, the whole entire natural show at 7 30 p.m peak week and like what you would normally do is gonna be very different because normally you'd be doing all your stuff on the friday night making sure you're all carved up and ready to go in the morning and you have your morning meal set out but now it's like totally different because you have an entire day pretty much before you step on stage i've been trying to like plan this out but to be honest my body looks way better at nighttime when i sleep and wake up in the morning I'm usually flat even if I have a shit ton of carbs. I'll wake up in the morning and I will never look as good as I do when it comes nighttime. I'm probably not going to cut water until Saturday morning. So there's going to be a couple things that are going to be different and I'll be showing you guys everything. I want to vlog that entire like Friday, Saturday. Phoebes is going to get some footage. Hopefully he can get into... Actually, sorry, no, I got him a ticket to get into the show. So he's going to get some footage for you guys so you guys can actually see my placing, how I pose, everything. I'm just so damn excited. But right now, I'm gonna go get a haircut. I'm gonna talk to you guys about peak week in this video. If you're not subscribed, because I know some of you guys are watching these videos, you're not subscribed, I can see the analytics. This content is always going to be coming out, whether it's competition prep or it's something fitness related. I'll always have like my business stuff involved too. But I enjoy doing the vlog stuff, giving you guys value in some way, adding some topic or whatever into the video but yeah so if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button smash the like button help me grow this channel i mean it's already been growing so much ever since i even started uploading a lot more and doing this competition prep so thank you guys so much let's get into this video show them your beautiful face come on ziz the legend was good yeah good ziz good ziz Good shit. Since I'm going to get a haircut, I packed a little meal. I have one full cucumber, garden cucumber. What is it called? Field cucumber? Yes, field cucumber. Not, not those English cucumbers. These ones are way better. We have 200 grams of chicken. Like, bruh, what are you doing? There we go. We have 200 grams of chicken in there. And then I obviously have my water. I've already drank three of these. Bruh, I'm drinking so much water. It's honestly annoying how much I have to piss. And then I'm going to take this K Energy pre-workout. Uh, probably two scoops, to be honest. Before the gym. <laughs> God damn. I'm, I'm a mess right now. Uh, time for number four. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't do that. More water. More water. More water. More water. More water. I guess I should probably show you guys my physique quick. So this is four days out, carb depleted, not feeling good at all. Can't get a pump kind of deal, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways. <laughs> gotta hurry up, I actually gotta get, to, oh my God, I gotta leave. Okay, quick little pose down. Okay, here we go, ready? Uh, 
now we're gonna do a bit of pump and hopefully feel a little bit better. I actually just watched that little pose down that I did. I'm very happy with the way I'm looking. Like obviously like I'm dry and not all pumped up and stuff, but like the striations, the cuts, everything is on point. I can't, like I'm so happy that I just grinded this shit out, took no cheat meals and no rest days because I only had five weeks in total. I think if I would have done any less than what I did, I wouldn't be where I am right now. I knew I had to just grind my ass off. But yeah, I'm happy with the way I look. My back pose needs a little tweaking. I mean, I'll never do the back double by anyways on stage, but I always like pull this shoulder in. I don't know, it's weird. I just gotta think about it and visually see it. So it helps to see my posing too. Anyways, we gotta go get a haircut like right now. My barber's gonna kill me. Is that my water? Oh no, where's the water? Uh-oh. We're over here. Where am I gonna park? Oh my god. We made it. 228. Flash extensions. That's what we're getting. Let's go. And facial waxing, manicure, the whole fucking shebang. Just kidding. We're just doing the hair. Let's go. Fresh fade complete. It looks really, really good. I'm amped to have this fade. Oh my god. I was literally, I, I felt so bad. I was dying in the chair and like pretty much falling asleep. I couldn't even talk. Like, I had no energy. But yeah, she did a sick job. This is Elise. She works at... Oh my God, I forget the name. She literally told me. Parlor Cosmetics cosmetology something like that's on henderson so if you're in winnipeg elise she does a really good job she's been cutting my hair for like three years and it always turns out sick so hopefully this haircut helps me get that uh, number one spot anyways right now we are going to go to the gym i'm going to take two scoops of the k energy three pills of the creatine gym's like 10 minutes away we gotta go now because phoebes is gonna start filming me at 1 30 and it is 1 20 we gotta go no, I haven't seen your car. You want to show me? You want to show me your car? Like, I thought it was, like, dented and shit, but... Oh, she scraped it pretty good, too. Ooh! Hey, let's go. What's up, man? Oh, What's up, guys? Sweeps has a girlfriend. Yeah, he has a girlfriend. <laughs> yes, I do. No, she was tripping. Oh, She's like, he oh, has a girlfriend? Like, like, what? How long does it happen? This must be new. I wasn't... Is, and it yeah, was new? It is new, uh, yeah. Yo. What did they say? What happened? So, you know, I was talking to a couple friends. Uh, our video is coming up on the recommended. Yeah, yo. Algorithms working. You're this guy's know. dropping mad fire on the edits. Let's go. Don't go crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me do the same thing. Don't make me. Nah, it won't be the same. Don't worry. Okay, we're going to kill it, though. We're going to switch over to his camera. And I'm going to talk to you guys about um, what I'm actually doing during these workouts for Peak Week because they're totally different. Yeah. What happens when you're all prepped? I was literally just like in my head thinking about what I was gonna say to the camera and I was just holding this thing and it was just spilling everywhere. But I guess I should say what I'm supposed to say to the camera now. <laughs> nice joggers, bro. Thanks, man. You like them? Yeah, I do. Yo, November. <laughs> November, fine. Oh. Sneak peek, sneak peek. <laughs> Okay, so for these workouts, like I said, it's very different. It's not like when we're leading up to the competition and we're still doing our strength movements, we're waiting that 90 seconds, doing heavy bench and stuff. We're not doing any of that. Right now, we're just trying to deplete the body and literally try to get a pump. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is two exercises for chest, two exercises for back, one exercise for like the other parts, so like your shoulders, triceps, biceps, and I'm gonna be doing calves. But besides that, it's literally just get a nice pump, feel good about my body, and that's it. Like, I'm not trying to build muscle, you're not building muscle at this point, and if you're not shredded at this point, you've kind of fucked up. The whole point of peak week is to peak out. You have, you have to have your body ready at the beginning of the week. You can't expect peak week to just like change your entire physique and get you magically shredded. You have to be ready at the beginning. That's what we're gonna do today, so let's, let's get it. I'm gonna start with backs. I'm gonna do two movements. I'm gonna do a rowing movement. So I'm just gonna start on here with table rows. And then I'm gonna do um, a lat pull down. So those are the two back exercises and then we're just gonna move on. When we're doing these exercises, you're not going to a failure at all. If anything, you're doing like 60 to 70% of your max weight and you're stopping before failure. You don't want to break down any muscle at this point. You're extremely depleted. You don't have a lot of calories. You're not gonna be able to rebuild your muscle. So just get a pump. Don't focus on going absolutely nuts. Rep 
repetitions are also way higher. We're not going for hypertrophy. I'm doing like 15 to 20 reps um, and like three sets. That's it. Just get a pump. Look aesthetic. Get fucking shredded. This is what we work for, this is what we work for, let's go. Chest flies will be the first chest exercise. And then I'm gonna do something for incline, probably just like an incline, uh, incline dumbbell or barbell, one or the other. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> okay, say what? No, 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 well, you can do that too, but then you have to add it onto the number after. Oh, so it was right. We got oh, it is $40. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're getting there. Just, you, you were doing it the, the way you got it. It's two additions. Okay. Uh, you got it. Mathematician over there. <laughs> It was, so, uh, it was different, different federation. It was the IMDF, so they do a polygraph and they piss test you, mm -hmm. which is better than this because mm -hmm. technically you could cycle on this, yeah. go into it, take the piss test, yeah. and you'll be clean. Oh, okay. If you cycled a year ago, they're never gonna catch you. Yeah. Whereas IMDF, they polygraph you, which is kind of nice because then if you've ever done it in the past, you're not gonna pass the polygraph. They're not gonna let you step on stage. Yeah. So I did that, obviously, fucking past. Um, but. I, I know there's guys that have done the natural competition that are, have done juice before and then they say they're natty and they're not, but that's all G. That's all G. Still, be, is, still beat their ass, yo. I'm still hey, letting them know. Yeah. <laughs> fucking work for this shit, man. We're going. I'm going yes, all over. Let's fucking go. We're going for that overall, man. Just gotta be confident. Hit the poses properly. And just be the best one on the stage. Work harder than everyone. That's it.
gym. Man, I'm excited to see the difference. From the four weeks to this. What do you think, these Big difference? Yeah, man, I can tell. Like, it's gonna... Oh, shit, eh? Well, transfer it on to me. <laughs> Workout complete. Meal number two. Some cucumber, the whole cucumber that I showed you guys earlier. 200 grams of chicken. Got to take my creatine. And I'm actually not gonna do cardio here. I'm gonna do cardio at home. It's just more chill. I can just, yeah. I like doing it at my place and then I can shower after. I'm gonna do a TikTok live actually because it makes it go way faster. So I feel like I'm actually like, doing something, talking to someone. I think we have two, yeah, two more cardio sessions. Well, not including today, so three. We have today, Wednesday, and Thursday. And that's it, Friday and Saturday, no cardio. It's a good feeling, very, very good feeling. Come here. Hi, you're leaving. Down Beijing. Bye, love you. Four more days, baby. Almost there. I also just got soaked. That's why I left the camera in there and I literally waited until it stopped raining because I didn't want to soak it. So the last thing I want is to ruin my camera when I'm trying to do this content for you guys. Yo, also with the uh, peak week, you have to make sure that when you're going into peak week, you're already shredded. Peak week is not a time to magically get shredded and think that you're going to get this new and improved body in a week. That doesn't happen. You need to go into peak week already completely shredded and ready to step on stage. Peak week is there so you can now peak Oh, what you're doing is depleting your whole body of everything. You're starving it. You're getting rid of its glycogen. That's why you're doing these workouts to just get a pump and make sure there's nothing left in the muscles. You're taking that sponge and literally drying the shit out of it. When you get to the end of the week, you're going to give it everything it needs to expand as much as possible. Think about those little, you know, those little uh, dinosaurs you buy and you throw them in the water and then they expand like crazy. That's pretty much what's happening. That dinosaur has nothing at the start of the week and you toss it in the water and you give it all the nutrients everything it needs and it just blows up that's what peak week is about i feel like there's just a big misconception behind it that one week is just going to change your entire physique it's also not good to use peak week as just a complete cutting session like you don't want to go on stage super flat like you don't want to have no carbs the entire week and doing cardio the entire time and training right up until competition you need to save those last few days for recovery make sure that your body is ready to absorb everything that it's not actually trying to build muscle and repair things you need to save all that energy to just fill your muscles up so that when you go to pump up your body is ready to explode like when you pick up one weight you're instantly gonna get a pump gotta do my daily thing spinach run probably gonna grab like two or three bags to be honest because i'm just coming here way too often big bag honestly you should probably get two do i need two i don't want them to go bad i'll just stick with one might as well get some turkey bacon while I'm at it too. Check out my snack before cardio. Literally a bowl of spinach with some salt. Yeah, not much of a meal, but we're gonna go do cardio now. Mmm, that's so good. Like, it's like having pizza. My god. Mmm. Yeah. Fucking great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat this for the rest of my fucking life. Fuck! Oh, what's up? Cardio time. Let's go. What's up? Game time, baby. We got Kylo Ren watching over me today. This is the cardio machine. I'm gonna do 45 minutes. What the hell, Cola? How did you get in here? Wasn't the door closed? Bruh, how long have you been in here for? You're gonna wanna leave though, cause you're not gonna like the sound of this. What? He just hissed at me! What is your problem? This cat is something else, man. We're gonna do full incline. 12. Three miles an hour walking for 45 to 50 minutes. Jesus Christ. That was some long ass cardio. I ended up doing 55 minutes because I was on live. And guess what? I made five bucks off of live. I think his name what was his name? I checked his name after but he donated two like gift point things I don't really know how it works, but it ended up being five bucks and I was just like answering people's questions and stuff It was sick. It actually made the cardio go by super fast So I'm definitely gonna do that again tomorrow like, I don't think I would have done 55 minutes not that I needed to do the extra cardio because I'm Fucking shredded already, but still it was actually fun. I enjoyed it quick little update though. This is absolutely insane 
Like, I'm obviously carb depleted as shit, but like, everything's looking fucking crazy right now. All right, so what you guys just saw me doing was actually unboxing all the samples that are gonna be, well, they're already in production, actually. All the stuff that you guys are seeing right here is gonna be launching this November. It's literally the biggest launch I've ever, ever done. There's 3,000 items that I'm stocking on top of everything that's already here. These are all the new ones. There's actually a couple restocked items. It's a big investment, big risk, but I know the brand's growing. These products are amazing. These are the best designs I've ever made, the best color selection. Like, I know it's gonna be amazing. And then it's perfect timing, holiday season. We got Black Friday, but the investment is $70,000. Like, just saying that number is scary, but I believe in this brand more than anything. I've invested 50 grand before. I did it in the last launch. It paid off, I was able to pay off the investment and I'm just taking all the money that I get from it and just reinvesting it, building this brand, making the products better, making the customer service better, inspiring more people. This brand is literally what allows me to do this, like what I'm doing right now, create content, give you guys value. Without this brand, I wouldn't be able to sustain myself, buy groceries and, and live. Like this is my full-time job, this is what I make money off of so i'm running this brand competing doing prep like all the stuff all at the same time trying to give you guys content like all these things are going on at one time so i just recently placed a bulk order for these like i've been designing them for a long time i try to always design ahead of time and then once i get the products that i really like pick the colors and then i produce them these are the ones that i'm going to be going with for november three thousand items total in stock here's what we have i'm just going to show you guys them so these are the premium lift joggers brand new slate gray it's almost like an it's like gray but it has like this like tinge of blue and then like with all matte black logos i'm also restocking the black ones of these all sizes that way they're ready for the holiday season these i'm so excited so if you guys know the cloud hoodies i literally designed cloud sweats they are the comfiest thing. Just like subtle logo, all black. And then there's actually another small little like black diamond logo at the bottom, zipper pockets, but they're not supposed to be like super stylish, just ultra comfy sweats. And then obviously if you pair like these two together, like you wear the cloud sweats with the cloud hoodie, it's game over. You're staying home, you're never doing anything. It's like wearing a Snuggie, honestly. Next is the three colors of cloud hoodies. This one, definitely gonna be a popular one. It's the off-white with black logoing and the inside, like if you're new, like the inside is the softest, softest thing ever. And that's why these have been like the most popular products to date. Like I still have a few of the black on black ones left. They're definitely gonna be gone once November hits, but we have all these ones coming in. Army green, olive green, whatever with all black logoing. Deep red one with all black logoing. Over here, we have the brand new women's curve leggings. We've gone through a lot of designs to get them here. Miranda has been helping me like crazy. Very subtle logos, black right along the pockets. It has like the U crotch all the way down. There's a tapered waist, back butt seam, little logo on the back the material is just like on point like and the color is just beautiful but uh, if you have a girlfriend i know most of the people that are watching this are guys but yo your girl's gonna want these trust so they come in black blue and this like viridian green that's what i'm gonna call it viridian then they have the matching sports bras with the straps on the back with the logo right there and then i'm dropping the exact same color in the short just missing the black ones i'm actually going to restock the black ones like they sold out so fast i'm going to restock the black lift shorts exact same material as these just in a short style cutoffs these are brand new so i'm launching them in gray pastel kind of green and black as well they have the embroidered logos top shoulder trap uh seams and then the scoop at the bottom and this material is like the ultra soft one it's the same one as a scoop like long sleeves they're somewhere over there and the black ones are over there this is also launching but not with this tag it's just going to be like a printed logo and on this side we'll have uh the actual tag and the adjustable earpieces trust me i've tried these they're actually better than the other ones like the the small ones because they're rounded and they sit nicely on your ears i literally did an entire workout with them 
really breathable. It has an antimicrobial um, fabric on the inside and then it has the cotton elastane on the outside and it's like thin so it's still breathable and very comfy on the face. There might be a few other things I can't remember. Like it was a massive, massive bulk order. And when I placed the order, I was literally carb deprived, but I knew it was the right decision. I had been planning it for a long time, designing these products for the longest time. And then I finally got the samples in. Looking at this collection from here, like that looks amazing. That makes me want every single one of these. And there's obviously some missing, but oh, these. So I've now created these hang tags so it says create your vision and on the other side is resilient and then this like faded gray resilient logo. So this is going to be attached to every single product. So now we have a hang tag it makes it way better for returns and exchanges before I would just go off of like if they had the bag, which was just it wasn't practical. But This is going to be so much cleaner and it just looks more professional having like a nice clean hang tag with the motto create your vision. So that's going to look clean on all of these, right? So I'm excited about that. And then everyone's gonna be getting the decals in every order. I know some of you guys might be like, yo, you're just promoting, like trying to get a sale. But like, this is my passion. Like this is what keeps me in the fitness industry. I love creating, I love designing. Like I've never loved like clothing. It's just the fact that I get to design it and create it and then use it for the thing that I love, which is fitness. Just having these products after envisioning it, creating it, drawing it out, and then having them here, and then having someone else wear them in the gym, that's what I love. Like when I see someone in the gym wearing like one of these hoodies or killing it in joggers or the leggings or something, like that's what motivates me. It's crazy, like it's the best feeling ever. Whatever, you can call it promo or, it's not promo. I just want you guys to be able to kill your workouts in this stuff. And I want this to inspire you, me doing this whole business thing and just growing it from absolutely nothing. When this launch does go down, I honestly hope to have all of your support. If you just grab one thing, it helps me like crazy. I wanna take this thing and make it huge. I wanna have events and like, just do crazy things with it and just bring the community closer and just motivate everyone. Yeah, honestly. It's crazy how far this has come. I love every product. Anyways, thank you guys for listening to this and looking at my apparel. When the launch does go live in November, I hope to see all of you guys wearing it or see your name pop up or whatever. I'll do some giveaways and try to give back to you guys, but thanks a lot. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up button. If you're new, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Get fucking shredded. Peace. Am I truly on the way out of way?